Hello, and welcome to the 505 tutorial for configuring and calibrating analog outputs. In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure and calibrate analog outputs. The 505 has six 4 to 20 milliamp analog output channels. Each channel can drive up to 600 ohm loads and provides fault monitoring of individual source and return currents. It is important for you to understand how to configure and calibrate analog outputs so you can connect your turbine and external devices to your 505 controller. To configure analog outputs, you must be logged in to the configure user level and configuration mode. Refer to the changing user levels and changing modes and languages tutorials to learn how to do this. To access the analog output summary screen from the home screen, Use the navigation cross keys to select Analog Outputs. Then press Enter. On the Analog Output Summary screen that opens, please note that each row consists of one channel and its function, tag, value, and units. Each channel also has a fault status light that will illuminate if the value of the output channel is in a faulted state. Remember, each of these channels corresponds to the similarly numbered output terminals on the back of the 505. To select an analog output channel to configure, use the navigation cross keys to highlight the desired channel. For this demonstration, we'll choose AO06. Then, press Enter. The selected channel screen opens. To configure the selected analog output channel, Use the navigation cross keys to highlight the output function box. Press Enter to open the output function drop down menu. Use the adjust keys as many times as necessary to highlight the desired option. Press Enter to select the highlighted option. Use the navigation cross keys to highlight the 4 milliamp value box. Next, press Enter to select the current value. Use the numeric keypad to replace it with the desired value. And then, press Enter again to confirm the change. Use the navigation cross keys to highlight the 20 milliamp value box. To replace the current value, you can either use the numeric keypad, like you did for the 4 milliamp value box, or you can use the adjust keys to reach the desired value. For this demonstration, we will not change this value. If you want to rename the channel you're configuring, Use the navigation cross keys to highlight the device tag box. Press enter to select the current tag name. Use the numeric keypad to enter a new tag name. And then press enter to accept the new tag name. For this demonstration, we will not rename the channel. Next, use the navigation cross keys to highlight the units box. If you want to enter a unit label to use with this channel, Press Enter to select the current value. Use the numeric keypad to enter a new unit, such as RPM, which we'll use for this demonstration. And then, press Enter to accept the new unit. Now, the controller will show the units of the actual shaft speed inputs in RPMs. Finally, use the navigation cross keys to highlight the Enable Readback Fault box. Enable this function to issue an alarm when the analog channel has a fault. A fault will be determined if the current drops below the failure level, or if the difference between the current detected on the source and return wires of the circuit is greater than 5%. To cycle through the analog output channels, press the black function keys below the left or right arrow buttons. To return to the analog output summary screen, Either press the black function key below Summary or press Home or Escape. Then, to return to the main 505 screen from the Analog Output Summary screen, press Home or Escape. If you are finished using the 505 for now, remember to exit Configuration Mode. You can also use the 505 controller to force analog output values. This can be helpful in testing and troubleshooting. To do this, log into either the service or configure user level and put the controller into calibration mode. If you aren't sure how to do these things, refer to the changing user levels and changing modes and languages tutorials. Once the controller is in calibration mode, return to the home screen. Then, navigate back to the analog output summary screen. 
Use the navigation cross keys to highlight any of the analog output channels and then press enter. Now that you are in calibration mode, a new force output button has been added to the menu bar. Forcing analog output values allows you to verify that the end device is reacting correctly to the signal it is receiving across the full range of values. Press the black function key below force output. A pop-up window opens. It shows you values corresponding to the output forcing, as well as two visual gauges for the demand and milliamp source value. To enable forcing, press the black function key below enable forcing. You can now adjust the demand value of the channel. To do so, use the navigation cross keys to highlight the manual adjust box. Use the adjust keys to change the value of the demand manually. The demand gauge should reflect the changes you make. You can also change the demand value by using go to values. To do so, press the black function key below commands. A new set of buttons, go, go to minimum, go to maximum, displays on the menu bar. Use the navigation cross keys to highlight the go to value box. To change the current value in the go to value box, either use the adjust keys or press enter. Use the numeric keypad and then press the black function key below go. The demand gauge changes to the go to value at the rate defined by the value in the force rate box. The other go to buttons can be used to drive the demand to the minimum and maximum values of 4 and 20 milliamp. You can also change the values in the gain and offset boxes to calibrate the signal. For a properly wired and functioning circuit, the demand gauge and value box should match. The milliamp source gauge and the readback box should also match. Demand is the value the software is requesting. Milliamp source is the value measured at the positive terminal for the channel. And readback is the value measured at the negative terminal returning to the channel. When you are done forcing outputs, press the black function key below exit. If you made changes, press the black function key below Save Settings. Then, disable the forcing by pressing the black function key below Disable Forcing. Now close the pop-up window by pressing the black function key below Close. Remember to exit calibration mode. You now know the basics of the configuration and calibration of analog output logic. Please be sure to view the other tutorials for more information.